What is going on, guys? It is your boy Crimson bringing you guys another prime time video, some more prime time content for you guys. This is going to be stories with Crimson number three or four question mark. I'll just I'll just put it up on the title three or four. I need to check my channel. I don't know what what I'm at right now, but stories with Crimson. Florida life yet again I'm gonna be continuing you know the past video I don't really know where I left off I think I really just left off like where I cut off my finger or was that Florida living or was that just when no that was like finger in a cup what what did I talk about Florida life I don't really even remember but I'm just you know I'm just gonna go with it alright so Florida Florida I was born in Detroit and I moved to Florida probably when I was like four or three and a half I want to say and I stayed there till I was about you know seven seven and a half then came to Texas so but that is obviously besides the point because this video is called Florida living so I don't know why I'm talking about that but I am and you guys have to deal with it and I love you you know so Florida you know Florida school in Florida like I said it was basically like I was on a military base you know kindergarten pre-k whatever the shit that I went into it was just god awful I had miss butt and some white like some white chick alright miss butt was full on dark chocolate you know Hershey's over, over here she was just teaching us you know left flank right flank you you better look up if you look down you're getting beat with a ruler you know type of stuff and if you guys remember, in like the last Florida video, they literally made a stand outside, basically in a formation type thing, and stand like T's, like they would ha we'd have our arms out, and we were not able to put our hands down, or else they'd get in our face, and they'd, you know, give us time out and shit, because like we were in pre-K, so they gave us some pre-K, kindergarten, whatever shit, like, you know, thingy. I don't know how to say this, you know, like, what is it, what am I talking about here, timeouts, like, what, what is, detentions, or something like that, you know, like, they, they still had the somewhat of a mentality, you know, that we were not 100% soldiers, you know, we were grunts, we were getting there, and they, they were making sure that we had the backbone, we had to stand as, like, fucking scarecrows, like it was Wizard of Oz, you know, so, Florida life, what is some other stuff from Florida life, you know, um, ooh, I remember this one time I had my friends Cody and Dominique over. Cody and Dominique were... Cody was the type of person to fuck his own sister or cousin, you know? He was full-on redneck. He was full-on redneck. That's literally the most I can say right now. You guys should have seen his parents or... Oh, God. And then, you know, Dominique was obviously this, like, frickin' white chick who didn't know how to eat McDonald's burgers because, the like, one, the first and only time I ever took her to McDonald's with me and my family, this bitch took, like, five ketchup packets, put it on a burger, and, you know, just painted her face with ketchup. And that's when I found out, you know, like, I don't take bitches that are, like, fucking six to fucking McDonald's because these bitches start face painting with fucking burgers. So that is a lesson learned. Never take, you know, six, seven-year-old friends to uh, McDonald's because they will be using ketchup as finger paint and their face will be the canvas, you know? So that's obviously all besides the point. I'm getting so off topic, but not so much, actually, because it's still Florida. It's still Florida living, you know? So what I wanted to talk about was, I'm just going to go straight to it. I stepped on a rake. And this rake went into my foot not through it into like the front part of my foot hit the top part of like the rake like the spike shit jiggers and it went directly into my foot and it just stabbed complete straight into my foot like three four inches and it just went straight in and straight out i didn't even know okay and me and Dominique, you know, we go to our pool and we're just sitting there, you know, we're putting our feet in the water, you know, just chilling, vibing out, doing whatever, like, little seven-year-olds do. As I'm just so happy that we didn't have ketchup with us at the time. But we were just kicking our feet, laughing, telling jokes, you know, like, uh, interrupting cow, interrupting cow, you know, 
Like, it, it's just like, the jokes back then were so prime, you know? They were in their prime. Again, I'm getting off topic. I don't know what is up with this right now, but, you know, we're kicking around, we're splashing, we're doing little kid stuff, and then all of a sudden, like, it starts, like, you know, turning red. I'm like, what's going on? You know, I'm not a magician. What are you doing, Dominique? Did you bring the ketchup? And she's like, no, I didn't bring the ketchup, Eric. Like, what are you doing? And then, you know what? I'm like, it's coming from my foot. I gotta check out my foot. I bring up my foot and, like, I pull probably, what is it? Not my pinky toe, but the toe right next to that and the toe next to that. Like, those, like, the last two toes, not the last two, but you know what I'm talking about, hopefully. Well, I pull those two toes apart, and I look directly into my foot, because there's a hole in between my toes, because I stepped on a rake. How the even? I was looking into my toe. I saw the bone and everything, you know? I, I think it was bone. I just saw white. It was awkward as hell. It was really awkward. You know? There was a hole in my foot, and I didn't know what to do with it. I'm probably going to continue this video some other time because, as you can see, it already has come to an end. So I will be making a follow-up video to the story, you know, continuing it off. That'll probably be tomorrow, obviously. Actually, no, I'll probably space it out. You know, I'll probably space out this video. Hope you guys like the video. Like, comment, subscribe if you aren't. Uh, there's always tomorrow, guys. Keep that in mind and never forget that, you know. I love all of you. It's been your boy Crimson Deuces.